Classic is coming, boys, and we need to talk strategy. Today we're going to go over the Gurabashi Arena and everything you need to know pertaining to the Arena Grandmaster. If you're new to Classic, allow me to explain. Back in vanilla, the game was designed in such a way that there were many, countless exploits to the game mechanics. Now of course, some were more severe than others, such as kiting world bosses to cities, or the reckoning bomb that took out Lord Kazak in one hit, but then there are some more low-key exploits, such as finding a quest that had a really low minimum level requirement that awarded a, say, a one-handed weapon 10 levels higher than the intended minimum level requirement, making it an overpowered twink item. That's kind of where the Arena Grandmaster fits in. The Arena Grandmaster is a reward from a quest that requires you to get 11 more Arena Master trinkets after you obtain that first one. The funny thing is, this is what I would consider the most well-known exploit and for whatever reason, Blizzard didn't care to hotfix this one. Check it out. The Arena Master requires you to be level 35 to equip, implying that the eventual reward would be for a level 35 to 45 character. Also, the event happens in Stranglethorn Vale, where the level range is 30 to 45. Don't believe me yet? Alright, let's pull out the data. If you look up the quest on the Classic Database website, the actual minimum level requirement for this quest requires level 39. Yeah, I understand the minimum level requirement to equip the trinket is 35, but the quest it starts should require you to be level 39. Remember all those quest items you'd pick up in the past and you'd right click on it and then you'd get that red text, you don't meet the requirements for this quest. Where is that? Regardless, you're able to start the quest and turn it in and then pick up the quest for the Arena Grandmaster. What? Let's look back at this data again. The Arena Grandmaster quest requires you to be level 34 to begin, which is so stupid because the previous arena master quest required level 39 but do you guys see what i'm saying here's where it gets real nutty and why i'm convinced it's an exploit and shouldn't have been allowed in the game's history so i find this picture on a 1.12 server showing the design of the quest and at some point it was incomplete and it needed attention here's my theory originally those quests required levels 39 and 34 to begin but Somewhere along the road, the translation of the code got lost and all of a sudden, the minimum level requirement didn't matter anymore. You could begin the quest whenever. This was the birth of a staple item that represented the level 19 and 29 twinks for the history of World of Warcraft. But it's only added flavor to the game and the event. Now, not only do you have mid or max level characters just competing for the event, you also have level ones and level 19s banding groups together in order to get their hands on some overpowered trinket that's going to boost them through some battlegrounds. I'm not proposing that they hotfix it or anything. In fact, I think Blizzard kind of liked it, even though it didn't work out as originally intended. Alright, so now let's talk classic. Who's logging on and running that first character to the Gurubashi Arena and sneaking in about half an Arena Grandmaster trinket in the first couple days? Whoa, hold your horses, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Who's to say that the Gurubashi Arena event is even live the first couple days of Classic? To explain this, we're going to need to take a look back at some patch notes. You see, the Gurubashi Arena was in the game from the original launch in November of 2004, but it wasn't until patch 1.4 when the honor system was introduced did the pirates start dropping that chest in the middle of the arena. Before that, its only claim to fame was the fact that it was the only PVA or player versus all place in the entire world, so you could actually kill players from your own faction. Alright, so now let's take a look at what Blizzard has shared with us about their content release schedule. Our focus is that second stage where it says Battlegrounds and PvP Rewards. Hmm... Considering the Gurubashi event was implemented the same time as the PvP honor system, Sorry boys, it looks like this won't be possible at launch. But hey, read this line. Current thinking. This is all subject to change, and if we start seeing 7, 8, 9, 10 different phases, which would be awesome, I think we could see another case of 
information being lost in translation and all I'm saying is there's a chance this bad boy could be implemented into the launch like imagine the first day and a half I won't have any competition from anyone leveling through Stranglethorn Vale that's like six free trinkets going towards my first level 19 twink not to mention all the gold and the blue bind on equip bracers you get from the chest as well there's an ample amount of benefits if you go for this chest and it's spawned there at launch. But who's gonna take the risk? That's the real question. Like, in my previous video, who's gonna spend their first 15 minutes on the fresh classic rounds on the new server, spending that time running towards a treasure chest that might be contested or already looted from other competition? Who's gonna make the 10 to 12 minute run from Durator to Stranglethorn Vale and see if they can get their hands on some free arena masters early on and own the level 19 twink bracket. The risk is great, but the rewards are greater. I mean, either way, you're gonna end up falling behind the leveling curve if you choose one of these two routes, so that decision's up to you. I almost forgot, if you weren't satisfied with my exploit explanation earlier, let me try and give you something to make up for it. So this guy actually pulled off what seems to be an exploit um, in his quest to get the arena grandmaster and he did it all by himself on his level 19 gnome twink so he'd get the gnome his his alt and he'd put it where the treasure chest would spawn um, so that whenever he would log back on he'd be inside the treasure chest and he was hidden from everybody now what made this work was previously he'd get on his level 70 character kill everybody in the area intimidate everyone stand on top of the chest and hit all f4 so he'd end his system and in doing this, whenever he logged back on to get onto his twink, it left his other character on for 45 seconds whenever you all F4 the game. Really interesting exploit, um, and it worked out for him. Yo, it, just real quick, I got a lot of new faces lately, like within the last week, and I've been all over the place with my videos. So I don't know why some of you guys have subscribed, um, and I love the feedback that I've been getting recently. It's been amazing. You guys have been liking my videos, which is super helpful and um, commenting which I'm enjoying the conversation with y'all but yeah go ahead and because I'm kinda at a crossroads right now I'm about to start doing I'm gonna step back into the profession scene um, but let me know what you wanna see next and tell me in the comments or come join my discord and tell me about it thanks for supporting thanks for watching guys grace for days Howdy.